interesting names. Sergeant Healer. Agent Stout. <laughs> <laughs> Miss or Mrs. Smart. <laughs> and to be one above that, Danny. Maybe I yeah, try and get more steps to heaven. Or <laughs> is. But with this fear, we're ascending up the ranks of their system. Because we're willing to. Because it's definitely interesting. And me, personally, I'm caught in the system. I can't get free unless I get us all free. I remain in a fucked position unless I. Daniel and Goliath. Yeah. And I'm well capable of that. I'm a lunatic like a <laughs> I've been thinking very deeply about all this. I've thought about this, I've imagined it for a long time. Because there's not so much time left, I'll tell you what my personal game plan is. It involves us, it's why I call this gathering. I have a series of court dates I can call the time whenever I want. I've stayed up for the last six weeks because I didn't want to do it yet. But essentially all I have to do is choose a day. Might as well let you all know and maybe me and Tara can choose a day now. Maybe, no, we should set up a communication system so if I say what day it is, you all know. And you can tell everyone. You have three or four or five days notice if you want to come. Um, can I point out that there yeah. need to be some prior warning with regards to etiquette? With oh, now. That's now. Um, this is what? This is a practice for. And it's been perfect, so I'll tell you what I'm up to. Because this will work for me. If you were all a bunch of fucking arguing people, I don't think I'd tell you my plan. I've got a smaller <laughs> agent in a few days' time. I'm like that, lads, I'll be really honest with you. That's why not many of you know me. Are you sure about this? Yeah. We've all got our batteries in our yeah. minds. <laughs> yeah. Simple as any of us can have a series of portraits in the future. It's a time and a place, it's like a gig. Any of us can become performers in theatre, in life, and book venues in which to perform. And with a full knowledge of theatre, then you can perform magic in its most like realistic form. To speak the word, for the word to be the truth, and for that to be enough. And for that to hold... My mother said magic's psychotic. Do you believe everything your mother said? I, I try to reconcile my mother's opinion with my own and understand my father's too. Ideally, someone that I don't know as well, my enemy, someone who completely disagrees with me, and I try to like jump my mind up, you know, like from like the Newtonian, and then you go like radio, and then you go like quantum, and then you go like sprinkler, and then you go like jump. No, it's not a disorder. Now, you're the expert. Normalize yourself. Yeah, but like, uh, I mean, I, 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 I've like found that like, going through a lot of these processes, like, say, you know, when someone's going at you, and like, you're getting done in, or the police are after you, or something like that, like that, and you transcend yourself somehow through the process of dealing with them, and then you get to the point where they're still your brother, you know, in a sense, like, and, and so you, you kind of have this codification that's the way you approach them the next time, that enables them to understand that you've been through something that they've got to offer you, and, and you keep going, and you, you essentially you initiate yourself into everything, like, my, my method was to pretend I was a Freemason, and I went and found them. <laughs> <laughs> it worked. It worked really fucking well. <laughs> Some Muslims, right, I've got a satanic ritual in Primrose Hill, right, like, they followed me down the hill, and they, they pretended to be um, Freemason and police, and so I said, it's alright, I'm a Freemason, and then they went, like, what, what, you're a Freemason, and then they're all coming up, and then they kicked the shit out of me, and nothing through them, and finding something. And, um, like, like, after that, I'm not thinking I'm kind of all right. really fucking weird, like, I'm telling you, it's kind of the same with the police. And if you talk about it too much, especially in mental words, um, then, then they think you're psychotic. You talk about Satan, you talk about Lucifer. But when I talk to the Muslims about getting beat, right down at the head of temple, whatever you call it, like, they were going, like, I said, I said, sorry, I was doing a satanic ritual. And I said, I was reneging Satan, I told them, but you know, they're young, they don't know what the word renege means. <laughs> <laughs> and it's exactly the same with the police. Like, I was in Haithbury last year, like, you know, the solstice. Walking around thinking I was Satan, right? Because I've done some, some Kabbalistic stuff I've done before. And I'm drinking a lot of beers, right? Like, and I'm going around like, I am Satan. I'm about to the police. Like, I am Trip, right? Like, I come from Camden Town. If you would like to come to Camden Town outside of your uniforms, then you're welcome to. And I'm totally inspired with Lounge and after Trip. I know they got the bug tricks down there. 
and uh, I'll, and I'll entertain you. And then I come back a little while later. I've got Henry Freemason, right? So I always use Abu Hamza instead of the guy who got beaten up at the Temple of Solomon. You know? If they understand it, they laugh. You know? And um, after that, you're much less likely to get beaten up if you go up, like, scaring people or something like that. Like, like they'll come and they'll really be like, oh, it's you know? But they took me into the mental ward eventually. There were three policemen in my house, right? And I had a big picture full of symbolism. Say everyone to everyone is while you're laughing and it's good fun learning this stuff for us that have found out these things are true. Yeah, these two people are speaking that. word for word truths from real life experience. <laughs> found, found, truth, found. I've seen Toby spin policemen around like tops, right? Using his fingers because he's using kind of like an adaptive form of neurolinguistic programming. When you get an imagine you get the Jedi mind tricks. I mean, most of the three run stuff is how the Jedi mind trick policemen into not beating you up based on the fact that you're a human being in, in an outfit and they are, and you're, you're just interacting. So you can you can cut them out of that level where they feel like that they've got a job to do. You know, you can you can get to the humanity. You can do any one of a hundred things. And for me, that's that's the closest thing I found to freedom. Is understanding about the Jedi mind trick. I must say today, I cast a spell on uh, on the judges yeah, um, in a court today. I, I represented someone today, and uh, is, has anyone watched a YouTube video of the guy that calls on Yahweh? Oh, 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 oh. I, I downloaded, well, I, I copied his uh, his yeah. poem. So it's a spell. Yeah. Yeah. I've read it in court today. I swear on my mother's life, I've said this uh, to my friends. Thou shalt not swear, let your word be your yeah, word, let mind. your yes but be your yes, let your no yes, be your you. no. Thank you. Thank, <laughs> you. Thank, you. thank you. And um, I don't know exactly what, I couldn't, even the security guards that come to eject me from the call couldn't explain what happened. But what I would say was that the judges was like, I've seriously done them over, yeah? That was after I made them walk out of the call like the first time. So, seriously, they do their little um, concoctions in their back room. I don't know, it could involve cocaine. Um, no, it's just it's, it's cool girls. I don't know what they're doing in the back room. But, they do something in the back room to get some power back to come back into the courtroom. And I left them, I said, in Yowie's name, all of you, uh, God bless you, and uh, have a good day. <laughs> and do you know what? Yeah, I walked out of there, I, I was still on this like really charged button yeah. because I stopped their energy. And they feared me that day, uh, today, sorry. They feared me, they had fear. So we can do the fear stuff on them as well. I don't want to do the fear stuff on them. I just want to let them know who I am. And who I am is who they should fear because I'm, I'm above all of their system, all of their acts, all of their, their, their statutes. Absolve. And, uh, Ab yeah. Solve. and we all have the right to be kings on this land, you know? Sovereign, whatever you may call it, secure 
predators, blah, 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 <laughs> free man on the land. You know, so many uh, different people, <laughs> words, yeah. or, you know, to, to explain that, you know, the, 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 what we're trying to do, or no, what we are doing, sorry. And at the end of the day, we are who we are, yeah? yeah? They can put names to what we do and what we are, but that's the, that's their tags, yeah? That's their tags. Yeah. yeah, you are who you are. I am me. Yeah. You are you. I am I. Yeah, so that's the I. <laughs> Boom. As they say. So that that's that's it in a nutshell. We can do our own spells on them. So in Yowie's name, <laughs> I finish this word. <laughs> Well, we are kings. We all, all are kings, and we've got to realise our sovereignty and who we are on this earth. Yeah. And one of the we, first steps to get to free here, right? Is you, or, or, or a religious awakening, depending on how you want to look at it. It's like you that, that's their word. My, my friend, this is something that, that's their word. That's their word. Yeah, yeah that's their word. Yeah, that's their word. 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 It's your definition of what crazy is. Just to say you can't paint a picture. You're not as their Old Testament. There's more. Is there any listening? Yeah, we're in the Old Testament, did you? Do you know about the Old Testament, do you, Ancho? You're going to tell us about the Old Testament there? Are you a goat or a sheep? I don't know much about that. If you go, you Just answer the, the question. Answer the question, sir! <laughs> uh, yeah, it's, it's like really are you a goat or a sheep? It's a question from the old days, and you're a bit of an authority, it's granted. And we've listened for a bit. You can't, you see, there's, there's something implicit in that question which is the idea that I'm one of the other. Yeah. Yahweh! <laughs> ah. Like, oh, if somebody gives you two options, take the third option, which is the part, the fourth, the fifth one, which is once you originated your style. Somebody asks you, is it this or that? They're not giving you any options. It's a, a logical fallacy. So when you go, oh, actually, there's three or four hundred other possibilities, and let's go through them. So, oh, when I say, when I that's say, what he's doing. When you're dealing with people who are straight, you'd be surrealistic. You'd be really, really kind of surreal. Now, remember years ago, there was this thing they wanted to stop all the kids having drugs, and the government started up. No, please, around. please, I'm trying to say something that's relative to these days. He cut me out, and I didn't get to finish it. Now you're going on different this, spirals. This is really important. This is about the intelligence of children. Yeah? So the children got this thing that's called. Frank, and you can ring up if you've got a drug problem or you're doing drugs and they can get your clients, right? And these guys were in a call and set the on the strip. And my kids, my yes, and these are kids who were messing around, yeah. around, working, freaked out, couldn't talk to their parents. So I get a pair of them to talk to their parents. Talk about it. Anyway, I couldn't talk to their parents. There's not enough time imperative to, 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 to need to do that. But the time is coming close for the so they switched around, right? They said, right, I'm going to make up a load of shit. Okay, and they started to make up a load of shit. So the first guy did it. He spent a half an hour talking to this guy, making up a load of shit. The guy swallowed it off. He got over his worries about the drugs. There's more drugs. drugs Talked to his mates and said, isn't this a great idea? They started something like so. Frank, Frank. Thousands of children from the age of 8 to 18 start ringing Frank and say this, this. Next thing, the government publishes, there's a new drug out on the street, and it's called Meow Meow! Can we be right essential now? Was there a point there? The point is, there is this, it's tangential. Understanding that these people are operating on the street. When somebody's operating on the street, all you've got to do is feed them your own surrealistic reinterpretation of that script. And if you do enough of it, their mind goes into meltdown. For example, an, an example of that is a mortgage strike. If all the people who are in mortgage in this country decided for one month, we're not going to pay you. That's a surreal movement. Because you're paying for something because they're all frightened. But if you did do it, it would show, show that there's a flex of the intellectual muscle. Names are for graves. Do we have a cool email? Yes, it's definitely a email. You have been served. I've been served. Read it out loud. 
I'm hearing you. Okay. But there isn't a script. Can you talk about the script? Oh, oh. As many red stripes, but <laughs> to whom it may concern, we are not your collaterals. Yes. Your goods or your chattels. Nor are we your slaves or servants. When you think or speak of human rights, they are also our rights. I'd like to interject that those who think it's rights is just natural. Just read the piece of paper. Do your job. <laughs> when you insist Toby, Toby, on equality, Toby, Toby, read it. then we read it. insist you be equal please. to us. Do then not get to the end of the page. flatten yourself with the deception of your own perceived goodness. There is no mirror great enough to reflect the unified potential of our humanity. We don't need your tolerance. You need ours. We are the majority in the world. We do not seek to dominate. Without wisdom, your power is worthless. With wisdom, your power is worthless. Uh, power is worthless. We do not cultivate armies of occupation, nor generate nuclear power propaganda. We contain the meaning of peace, without which there is no meaning to life. That I agree. We are not neutral. We do not support your wars, nor are we distracted from our steady progress by the self-indulgent, breeding frenzy of composer speakers like Cornelius. No, composer speakers. He's a Mormon. Well, this is the thing. Toby, you read it. It's read your it. dad wrote it. Okay, it's its so first this. time to be read out to a gathering. <laughs> You could start from the beginning and real gentle. No, no need to boom because we're listening. No, because when you speak, half room can't hear you, man. Yeah. To whom it may concern, we are not your collateral, your goods or your chattels, nor are we your slaves or servants. When you think or speak of human rights, they are also our rights. When you insist on equality, then we insist you be equal to us. Do not flatter yourself with the deception of your own perceived goodness. There is no mirror great enough to reflect the unified potential of our humanity. We don't need your toys. You need ours. We are the majority of the world. We do not seek to dominate. Without wisdom, your power is worthless. We do not cultivate armies of occupation or generate nuclear-powered propaganda. We contain the meaning of peace, without which there is no meaning to life. We are not neutral. We do not support your wars. Nor are we distracted from our steady progress by the self-indulgent feeding frenzy of compulsive consumerism. Our austerity is not poverty. We have no hidden agenda, no ulterior motive. The path we tread, the saints have trod before. We have no master and ask for nothing. Civilization is our code. It is not written in a book. We do not wait for orders. Our intelligence is civilian. We are of one mind. We are in accord. The sustainable future is our domain. All lives will perish. Only truth will remain. We need no opinion. We are the way forward. Progress is in every direction at once. Chaos or the eightfold path. Love will not wait to be abused by mere tolerance. We didn't enslave you. Nor did we slaughter you by the millions. We will never be like you, but you can be like us. Our continents crossed continents on foot. Don't flush your potential down the drain in the name of an easy life. We cannot be blamed for the sins committed in your name. We are all responsible for the future of the world. It's only big enough if you share it. If you continue to slaughter the saints and the innocents, only the devils will remain to reign in a desert of ignorance. We were here before you came. We'll be here when you've gone. We are the people of the world, reclaiming our rightful heritage. We are the diasporas displaced by your empire, shadow and glory. We remember God. 
God remembers us. Mutual regard, mutual respect. One is equal to one without division. There is no way forward without our cooperation. There is no way back. Join us or perish by your own hand. Okay, peace everyone, okay? Can we hold it just like this for a few minutes? And I'll just announce, like, I had to end at 9 o'clock and way past that. Hold that for a second, because we can still hold it going until 10 o'clock, so long as we keep it together right now, if you like. Okay? The last bit of time is a bit precious now, but we've got a feel of what each other is on about. Sorry, sorry for interrupting, but... On the, on the, when is this supposed to finish in here? I just... At 10. At 10? Yeah. Okay, thanks. Cool, man. <laughs> <laughs> because there is a concert in here at the people we, we have... Yeah, I discussed it with Eleanor, and it's because I told her it will be like this, and if you come in and set up equipment all over the place, it will destroy what we have, and you see how sensitive we are holding things, and she understood okay, fine, that this fine. could yeah. happen, this and is, it is true, no. it is happening. Thank you. Speech. It'd, be nice, it'd, be nice if, it'd be nice if after you finish, they just take to support what's going to happen after. You know, they just smooth, don't, don't go back home. Yeah? Come here, come here, come here, come here. Come here. What's your name again? Come here, come here, come here, come here. Just get get, well, I want to say to you then, the little I know is there is a gig upstairs that's already started. They're being nice to us with quietness and everything else. We are out by 10 because they wanted to be in here at 9. Just to set up stuff. It's one of the best musicians in the world or something is here and it's not usually here and it's like a big deal for the place. But it was a coincidence and I had it booked and this is all kind of magic. Empathy. Somewhere I felt, look, in this moment we could be scattered or we can realise we're being hosted here by people who aren't even in here with us sharing it. Even though they let us be here because they know it's a good thing. Felt it. I was going to say a short piece of poetry that rounds off that, it's really short, but it rounds off that stuff that we brought up about the fear with the, Danny's example, for example. Sorry, man. You no, know, you're doing perfect. You're supposed right? to keep you here for days. Perfect on time. <laughs> no, no, we're, 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 we're supposed to finish at nine o'clock. I know, we talked about it. Because the scene is that we have an African artist that is on tour. What time is it now? It's kind of important. Oh, wow. I might be able to shave off 15 we minutes. Have to do all the sound, yeah. set the stage, and then... What time is it now? I might be able to shave off 15 minutes. Half, I'm half nine. You see yeah, what I'm doing? Finish now, basically. You I'm doing it. I'm doing it. That's it. I am rounding up right now. So, 10 more minutes. No, man, we got enough 15, time but I'm rounding up right now. 15 eight, minutes, no problem, and we'll be gone. You got enough labor resources. There'll be no cleaning us out. In 15 minutes, we'll be gone. Leave it to me, man. I hear you. So don't you. go. You should stay to support the scene. You know, that's no, that's what I was calling you back to ask you. Listen, come back for one second. Come back again. Come here. I mean, we support Listen. You. Come back. I'm talking to you. You support the scene. Listen. Listen. No, we know what we're dealing with. There is one of the world's greatest musicians and the local best about to kick off on stage as soon as we finish, like a celebration. It's a coincidence. It's fucking great. He's going to stay. I'll put a hat out, or you can go up to any of them people who you now recognize and just give them money in support for what has been perfect. So perfect. Out of the way. Don't think we're infiltrated. I think it's great. The bit of poetry is real short. It is the fear that makes us get up and fucking do it. It's like an evolutionary force. It's a reflection in the mirror. You can look in the mirror and you can see love and really love yourself. You can look in the mirror and see fear and really not love yourself. 